Lao oceans have just seen their hottest year on record. A first report collecting 2023's entire temperature data set has just been released. It's found that global sea surface temperatures smash previous records in every month after May. Perry Wilson has more. It's called the Blue Planet for a reason. But in 2023, the ocean surface has been pushing the red on almost every temperature measurement. This is the first published record on just what has happened in 2023, dealing with the ocean heat content. This sprawl of papers is the work of 34 specialists from around the globe. Kevin Tremberth is one of them and says the findings are clear. 2023 for the ocean is the warmest year on record. The data is collected by Argo floats, robotic cylinders providing near real-time temperature readings. An international collaboration of 30 countries, there are nearly 4,000 of them. Each of the lines in this graph represents a year. That line at the top, that's 2023, hotter than ever before. The increment over the, all of the previous years was so much larger than we've ever seen before, and this has astounded scientists. It's also causing havoc on marine ecosystems, harming species right at the bottom of the food chain. Phytoplankton right up through the uh, food web to fish. Sponges are also a vital source of food for coastal fish. The temperatures have turned their beds from this to this. They just get impacted over such large areas that it's, it's mind-boggling. Tissue is dying because they can't cope with heat, and that you know potentially impacted hundreds of thousands of sponges over hundreds of kilometres of, of coastal reef. And while the natural cycle of El Nino has contributed in part to the bump in temperature, Tremberth says there's one thing more to blame for the records than anything else. The burning of fossil fuels primarily. The increment over the last year was as large as it's ever been, about three parts per million by volume. You know, we can't keep waiting for uh, the climate to get worse. It is worse. And if we want to fix it um, and, you know, potentially prevent some of these impacts that we're starting to see from, from getting worse, we need to act now. An ominous warning that temperatures will keep rising if CO2 isn't cut back and fast. Perry Wilton, News Hub.